Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I'm here to answer the questions, can you solo no more trash, and is it worth it? People have been asking me about it, so figured I'd dive in and see how it went. In case you haven't noticed, I am really close to 5,000 subscribers, and plan on doing a giveaway once I reach that milestone. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it, and if you subscribe, you'll see whenever I post the giveaway video. If you don't want to watch the entire video, yes, you can solo the trash in Nomer. Is it worth it though? Nah. Quickly going over runes and spec, I did this as Deep Frost. Here are the talents I went in with, though you probably don't need Improved Blizzard, Permafrost and Kona Cold was really all I needed for kiting. For runes, I used Living Bomb, Living Flame, Regeneration, Spell Frost Bolt, and Spell Power. At the front of Nomer you have this little rock here. With Enchant move speed the boost, I was very easily able to make this jump. Here, you can see me cutting three mobs at once. It took a while but wasn't too difficult at all. Using this spot made it super easy to kite the mobs of Living Flame and Living Bomb. For the irradiated mobs, they cast radiation. They are also stupid easy to deal with. There are plenty of line of sight points, so all I did was just LOS them when they were casting and slowly whittled them down. One of the major problems with how the mobs spawn is you really can't handle the normal tribes and the irradiated ones at the same time. Oftentimes they are spawned in a way that makes you pull them one by one. I only really had a few opportunities to AoE multiple of the normal trogs at once. Another problem is the irradiated trogs were randomly resetting mid-combat, which really slowed down my progress. Blizzard has also made it impossible to progress further into the raid until the first boss is dead. You are stuck with only the trogs on the top level, which do not drop the cartridge fuses needed for the profession quest chain. You are also unable to get to the gnome area to buy the patterns without the first boss dying. If you try and skip to the toxic elementals at the bottom, you instant die when you touch the floor, so you are fully trapped to the top. I was able to kill 20 mobs in about 35 minutes. I got a grand total of 43 raw silver, 5 grime encrusted objects, 6 robo mechanical guts, which is a quest item, a single vendor gray that sold for 6 silver, and 2 BOE greens, neither being very good. So yes, this trash is very soloable, but not worth it at all. Even if I had gotten lucky by seeing one of the grime encrusted salvages, they are only selling for 8 gold right now, which makes this a really bad gold farm. Do not recommend doing this unless you are just really bored. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Take care and see you in the next video, boys.